log recording 603 in the morning pacific standard time not even live or awake for this crap it's august 4th 2023 friday morning yeah griping and grumbling about where the hell and what who the hell i am i think i'm still john c weaver yeah still roseman california still stuck in the armpit of the antelope valley we're gonna roast again this weekend I'm enjoying right now the cool air is still outside, at least for another couple or more hours. And after that, i got to secure the place. I'll be warming up already, and we're going to be cooking again. I'm busting my, my brains on some of the things. I had taken too much time trying to get my books. Well, at least one of them anyway for the class. I didn't realize where it had books until I checked it out. Hell, I haven't even been online to just to check what the hell we're supposed to be doing in classes or any other kind of paperwork, but I was supposed to get that next week. Because the week after that, I'll be the classes. How am I feeling about it? Yeah, in the video, I was trying to say how great I feel about it and how, energe how energetic. And right now, I just have the wave of terror just kick in. Holy crap. It got to me on a hell of a lot of occasions when I took time off from the, from from college and sat around and just been a nervous wreck or an emotional basket case. I kicked myself in the ass because I couldn't get myself to school and do what I wanted to do in the first place. Just get a college degree. I don't care if it's the lowest damn thing out there. At least I know I accomplished something in my fucking life. At least I know I'm fucking doing something for myself. And no matter how screwed up the damn thing is, at least I was actually able to do something in my life that mattered a damn. I mean, it matters to me what I'm doing. It matters to me that I can look at myself in the mirror and say, I'm a college student. I can do this shit. I can kick ass with the rest of them. I don't have to feel this damn miserable. Trouble is, I've been feeling this damn miserable for a hell of a long while. And sometimes I did have a few doubts whether or not I'm actually going to be able to get through this shit or not. But I know one thing, I'll be disappointing the living crap out of my family if I don't do this. I know, they probably want me to do it for me. Yeah, I do it, but I'm doing it for them. And honoring them. I screwed around two years, and I said two and a half years. And the half year was just <clears throat> during full time work, and I couldn't go back to school to do maybe one or two classes because of my damn fluctuating schoolwork. Retail hell does that to you. I didn't have set hourly things regarding retail. Retail, you had to deal with flexibility all the damn time. So it made college almost virtually impossible for me to do again. Despite the fact they may have tried to accommodate it, they couldn't accommodate my schedule. I had still had to miss classes. So, still call it a half, uh, half semester screwed up. But the other two, before I got the full time gig, it just kicked my fucking ass on this. So, I mean, right after high school, my mother was expecting me to continue on, despite the fact I struggled. I did four years instead of three years, like everyone else would. I fucked around with one with the eleventh grade. I didn't like the teacher in one particular classroom, so I ditched it like crazy and got a fail on the damn thing. It dropped my grade down to the point where I had to redo the entire eleventh grade. I was in a college prep class uh, course called SWAS School within the school, trying to teach kids how to deal with college before they get into it by getting them acclimated into it at a college level thinking. I wasn't even there when I got into it in 10th grade. Shit, I was still trying to deal with junior high and transition into high school. Shit. Ma was adamant. She didn't want me to do this shit. I got talked into it because I thought it was fun. Or was I fucking crazy? And what it showed it was not fun and not profitable in one way or another. Not 
getting me through it because I wasn't putting through enough energy into the damn thing. The fuck did I know during that time? I didn't know it's damn shit. Talked to him because a friend of mine talked me into the damn shit. Gullible son of a bitch. And yeah, it was fun. Was I learning anything? A few things. I also got in trouble with the law. Oh, long story on that one there. All right, I'll say it anyway. There was a camp out. I needed camping tents. Actually, I needed camping stakes for a tent. Uh, a friend of mine was also in the program. Grabbed our bikes. Took off during class time. Went over to a nearby sporting goods place. Got stakes. Just about hauling ass for home. And then we got pulled over by... By LAPD's Operation Study in School Program. OSIS. It wasn't fun dealing with Ma and her being pissed off at me. My friend's parents, my parent, Ma, was. Our families are interconnected. We couldn't do the camp out. We were grounded. And those who were doing the camp out couldn't help us out anyway. Shows you your friends right there. When I was at him and they get the hell out of that program because they're nothing but a bunch of hippies and losers and everything else. She was going to probably understand. That was a polite stuff to say it. She was saying a hell of a lot worse than that. If I had a different mindset, if I was mature enough for it, maybe. But I wasn't. I knew it. I didn't want it to succeed. I, I don't know. I had no clue what the fuck I was doing during that time, to tell you the truth. And if there was a clue about it, I wasn't saying anything about the damn shit. Got into college, didn't exactly help me very much as Swass did. Nothing. The step before I had to do to re redo the 11th grade over again. Went back into regular curriculum, tried to bust my ass in every damn class I had just so I can graduate. Three year turned into a fourth year and then graduated in 85. <sighs> Older, but pissed off at myself. I was very much pissed off, I guess, maybe. Graduated out of high school, yay. Scared of hell dealing with life, Ew. Going to college, I expected bigger things out of me. I didn't know what to expect. I still had a heart and a mindset of a kid. I wasn't mature enough, I guess. No, I wasn't mature enough for this damn shit. Are you kidding me? Expected more out of, the, out of me than the other classes did. And you fuck around two years, show their proof of it. But a separation, academic separation, they called it. Kick out. Ma showed me what real life was all about. Show you through the door being homeless. Well, you work your ass off full time. No part time jobs. <sighs> yeah, I had to learn it the hard way. I could try talking to these students these days about the shit I went through. 30 more 30 plus years you work full time jobs sometimes there are temp jobs sometimes part time jobs when you can get them and when you had the full time jobs you hold on like crazy no matter, no matter how insane it was or how much pressure you were getting about that damn job you still did it I don't care what kind of a toll it takes on you doesn't matter you gotta pay that rent 
You got to pay for your rent, got to pay for the food, got to pay for everything else. It's got to come out of your sweat. It's got to come out of your blood. It's got to come out of you, period. Doesn't matter if you're scared shitless all the fucking time. You got to perform all the damn time. Temp jobs are like a dime a dozen, right? Well, until you, you're struggling as a fucking temp and you're trying to get your next damn job, tell me otherwise. Sometimes it's about a few weeks and you still had to go out and look for work and interviews, interviews, interviews. Hey, a seasonal job for about, about 90 days or four, or three or four months. Okay, that's better than nothing. Full time on that one. Do something over there that they hadn't thought of before. Make up a new system that helps out with, a, with ordering process. I worked for Leslie Swimming Pools as a temp. No, seasonal actually. That was job. I had a system made up during that time to help me out with the inventory and stuff. Besides filing paperwork, I was just checking up calls and tracking shit down and photocopying and just working my butt off. Stra tough, but I didn't mind it as much. I didn't mind it as much. I had one job at about nearly a year and a half as a receptionist. That I minded. One company was being bought out by another company. It was an intimate chief, and this ass this guy was a royal asshole. I liked the elder guy who had their, been running the company, and then he's out. And this other guy comes in, and he's a royal asshole. Hearing the gripes and grumbles from everybody made the whole job stressful and hard as hell. Learning a new trait during that time, Ma wanted me to be a transcriptionist. A lot of books, a lot of equipment, but they could be portable. You can go anywhere and be a transcriptionist. Of course, you had to learn medical terminology first, so you had to go to class to learn terminology. It took about oh, 10 weeks in that one. Occupational center. Ten weeks of doing medical terminology. Study like crazy. Study like crazy. Study like crazy. Study like crazy. And then you go through transcription. Finally, well, it's all its freaking books, and you're hearing these things and you're typing this stuff out on these forms. Of course, on a computer anyway, but still, it's a pain in the ass. I did about a semester about that one or two. Said I completed it. I was going to do all right on it. As long as I know what the words were like and I already took the terminology, I could do this shit, right? I need to spend more money just to make money on the damn shit. And then there was billing and coding. Now, here's the thing. When I was working temp at different jobs, let's try right, I dealt with this one particular company that dealt with... Student health forms. It's fucking UB92s and HICWAs. I'm looking at all this damn shit. I'm looking at... Well, how do you do this stuff? And these guys are already taking med medical uh, terminology. They're already taking coding and billing. They're doing the spec work. And I'm filing it with the rest of the... Sh with the other temp schmucks in there. And how do you do this shit? About a month or two later, or actually about a year or two later, here I am taking a class in it. I'm working it. Ninety-eight. After surviving retail hell, about nearly a year and a half working over at Macy's. Sales clerk, busting your ass, busting your muscles. Didn't get killed in there, thank God. But no, store manager was being a jerk. Nobody liked him, but they tolerated the son of a bitch. How would you like to have him singing Santa Claus throughout the heat of the day? Singing Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell Rock. Everybody wanted to toss that damn thing out and destroy it, but nope. That was a sole item that the store manager would keep doing for the Christmas season. 
It's fucking July, hot as hell, and we're doing Christmas already? Oh my god, the, con the people in the employees wanted to strangle this damn Santa Claus. That was a job. Part time to a full time job, and I'm still busting my ass in a damn job. I just was happy to work in a damn environment. Ma wasn't happy about it, but she's, you know, not complaining as much. I was working, I was making money, but, you know, you could do better, you could do better. You can go out there looking for more work. More money, more money, more money. Not saying if things are going to be happy for you, no. Survival, survival, survival. Money, 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 money. Go to the next job and offer us more money, John. You gotta, you gotta push yourself, promote yourself like that. Fuck it, Doc. More money, more money, more money. Get a temp job, but better than eight dollars an hour, ten dollars, eleven dollars. Go for it. Assuming your job skills are up to speed over there, and you can modify the damn resume for this shit. I did say that, didn't I? Because sometimes you have to tweak it and reword it to order you're learning more and more strengths and more stuff to make you sound like you are superhuman. Now one screwed up dude is still trying to struggle his ass off trying to get things going. But they read it, they bought it, and they went for it. So I was busting my ass. I'm busting my ass, I'm busting my ass, I'm busting my ass. That's all I did was busting my ass. That's all I've been doing is busting my ass during upstairs. I get the job for a Blue Cross from hell. Because I had the terminology. And I knew how to do billing and coding. And uh, about a year earlier, I had experience... So the same temp, ag uh, temp agency, and they had that on record, that I had about three months worth of call care, uh, call center experience. Headset. Thank you for calling this company over here. How can I? How can I help you? That's a make merger project. First in the state was being swallowed up by Western Union. Uh, Great Western. First interstate was going out. Great Western to pick up the bank accounts. And we had to tell people and, and transfer over to customer service, but we'd help them out with their banking needs shortly. They call it the Bank Integration Project. Teletech was the company doing this stuff. Teletech dealt with a lot of call center jobs. I found out how much they charge for for part time next to a temp. I'll stick with being a temp. Yeah, besides they had better job, they had better hours. I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna do that, do that shit. But I did the bank integration project, and I kept that on the resume. So I had calls there, and the. Temp agency didn't really have any bad reports about me anyway, so they kept me on a file. So when the job came up for the uh, Blue Cross of California Provider Care Department, uh, I'm sorry, Blue Cross California slash WellPoint, and the Provider Care Department, they needed uh, temps in there to man their eligibility area. They train it for about a month, uh, actually about a week, how to get up to their system. And then you're on your own. And if you're there long enough, you might get hired permanent. They had a high turnover rate going on in that place. But, me being an eager beaver overachiever, Oh, no, 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 no. In certain places, in certain jobs, I was trying to pour it on. I was trying to show them how valuable I am by killing myself at the damn job. I barely remember what the hell was happening at home. 
if there was any drama happening between Ma and Dave, or Ma having issues with her clients again, or Dave getting injured again, or having problems with some of the jobs that he's had. Or maybe somehow one of Ma or Dave or each other pushed each other's buttons where they weren't talking to each other. There's got to be something in some days. And I'd bring the work home with me. Not the damn paperwork, just the attitude and memories and everything else going on in that damn job, whatever it was. <laughs> Uh, the job from hell, well, one of them anyway, several years working in a call center dealing with the eligibility and then switched over to claims department. I mean, after nearly the first year of working over there, about nine months actually, decided this kid's terrific. He ought to be working in the eligibility department. He ought to know his things by now. So signed the damn paperwork, fill out the dotted lines, and the next day, back at work again. 99. 1999 signed up with these guys. I worked my ass off for several years until a lot of shit happening in that company. Changeovers, buyovers, layoffs, oh, things I couldn't deal with and was stressing me out. Not to mention the damn job itself and dealing with people's attitudes left and right. It really does something to a person who's supposed to have a lot of customer service experience and how to deal with them. Yeah, I kept slamming, and I kept breaking my equipment left and right. <laughs> Here's the answer. <laughs> without, the, without the sound, it's just, just. Get up. Go to the bathroom. Just. <laughs> do what I got to do in there. Get some coffee or something. Go back to the desk and then. Okay, thank you for calling us a company over here. How can I help you? Thank you for calling provide a care department. This is John. How may I help you? Yes, sir. Can I get these? I can I get these verifiers, please? One moment, please. Let me see what's going on. Got to keep the assholes on the line. Okay, what are we looking for? Eligibility. All right, let's see what's going on. So what's going on with you? Yeah, then I went over here again. Get into a chit chat with these people over here sometimes. Okay, what are we looking for? What kind of benefit? Yeah, hang on a second. Ah, crap! Damn things taking a pipe. Down. Yeah. Hang on, I got my system dragging its butt again. Yeah, I still gotta get you online. I'm not putting on hold yet. Well, I got a backup system still working right now, and it's also dragging its butt off. I'm seeing the other coworkers over here shaking their heads and about their toss their headsets out the window again. Yeah, let me check. Okay, here we go. Uh, my supervisor's giving us a high, giving us thumbs down again. I swear, networks suck. Yeah, well, they were. <sighs> IT is supposed to upgrade these systems half the time in the first place, and they keep crashing on us left and right. I don't know what they're doing. I think we still got the mouse dying on the wheel again. Anyway. Yeah, I can tell you that the, that the person's eligible. They've got this and that and that. We'll work on the benefits after that. Well, what are you looking for specifically? Oh, hell, they already got that already. What do you want? Okay, we'll talk about that later. There. Thank you for going to Bluegrass. A travel nightmare would come once in a while. It's like every 10th or 20th call. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Time out here, boss. Sport, what's going on? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a look. 
You know, I can't help you if you cannot help me at this point. Now, what are you trying to look for again? And slowly this time, I'm still trying to get this information here. I can help you, but if you're not going to, but if you're going to be screaming and yelling at me, I'm not going to be able to be of assistance at this point. Sometimes I can tell them about that one. And at times I can't because if I'm going to monitor, I get my ass ripped on that one. All right, what's going on? You got the identifiers? I can't take a look at them until I get the vi until I get the verifiers. Well, what's this information I need? What's this information? Okay. Thank you. Let's take a look. Okay, what are we looking for? Benefits? Okay, fine. Yeah, they got the benefits over here. What the hell's major malfunction? Somebody else told you otherwise? Oh, good lord. All right. Yeah, I'm putting it into my notes at this point over here, because every time we open up tracking at this point over here, we're supposed to have people reading our tracking to see what the hell's going on. Yeah. I'll make sure I'll, I'll pass it to the soups on this one. All right. Yeah, you try and have a good one yourself if you can. Just breathe, all right? Thanks. Click. <sighs> Of course, you want to go up there and yell, scream and yell, and say, "All right, who's the sorry son of a bitch? Call it this information over here, because I like to kick your fucking ass at this point over here. You'd love to see it, but you can't do that on the floor. So you gripe and grumble about that out off the floor, and away from the damn phones. You're like, "That's not what I call it to you five times at the same time." And they're trying to get this information, and nobody can get help them out. And Johnny on the spot's got to be the one. This is the one-stop shop, remember? Everyone kept saying that. One-stop shop. you got to help these assholes out. Mm. Gets worse when you get into the claims department. Ooh. HBO. I mean, um, HMO claims. Okay, HMO claims I can deal with, no problem. You can do them in your sleep. PPO, nightmare in Elm Street on this one here. Case in points. I get hooked up, and I get trained how to do claims. HMO versus the PPO and the beyond that are screwed up. I can understand the HMOs better than I can understand the PPOs because they were a nightmare in Elm Street. But even HMO claims can be a nightmare in Elm Street. Why? Shall we tell you in the next video?